If you're trying to find the very best app for editing YouTube videos, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top five and then I'll tell you which one I would use if I was just starting out editing YouTube videos and which one I would choose if I was trying to do this long-term and maybe even become a professional editor. And I have all five installed here so I could show you what each one looks like and why you may wanna choose one over another. Okay, the very first one on my list is called CapCut and this is really useful for regular size YouTube videos or YouTube Shorts as well. You could also use it for TikTok and Instagram. One of the easiest ones to get started with and it's completely free to use. You could get it for your Mac or your PC. You could also use it online. They have a version that just takes place on their website. They have a really good mobile app too. One of the top rated mobile apps in the App Store and the Google Play Store. And if you use it on your computer, it's really easy. All you have to do is over here, just import your media. And once you have your media over here, you just drag it down here. This is called the timeline. All your editing takes place down here. And they have ton of different options for adding different music, adding different text. They have stickers and effects and transitions. And they have ton of different AI options, including an option to caption your video using AI with just one click. And then you could also put that caption right on top of your video with ton of different styling effects. And for all five that I'm about to share with you in this video, including CapCut, I have a dedicated tutorial to show you step by step on how to use it. So once you decide one after this video, go watch the video that shows you the detailed tutorial for that specific app. Okay, this next one on the list, this is called iMovie. This is completely free to use, but it's only available on Mac and on iPhone and iPad. So if you have one of those, you could use iMovie. If you have a PC or if you have an Android, iMovie won't be available to you. But for Mac and iPhone users, this is the one I recommend to just about anyone that's never edited before. It's one of the easiest applications out there that you could use for editing. And it works very similar to CapCut. So you have a timeline down here where you could add things like text and different clips. This one shot on my iPhone. You could get kind of stock footage. This is a stock footage that I have added over here and you could add music. Really, really easy to get started with iMovie. And again, I have a dedicated tutorial to show you exactly how it works. And with iMovie, you have things like titles. So you could drag these titles like what I did in the beginning of this video. They have different backgrounds here available. They have simple transitions and filters that you could put on top of your videos. But from all the five apps I'm covering in this video, iMovie is the simplest. So if you're trying to go to the next level with editing, iMovie is not gonna let you do that. So you will have to at some point transition from iMovie to something else. CapCut on the other hand is beginner friendly and it also lets you go to the next level with it. And there's only one app that I think is more comprehensive that I'm gonna show you later that is really intended for professionals. But if I was just starting out right now between the two, if you're brand new and you have a Mac, start with iMovie, then it's really easy from there to go to the next level because all the different things you're gonna learn in iMovie are gonna be similar in more advanced apps. And let me quickly also show you this website. This is not an editing platform, just a little bonus here, but I use this across a lot of my YouTube videos. What this platform gives you is called Envato Elements. It gives you access to a lot of creative elements. So let's say you wanted a stock video to go along with your video of you talking. I use that on top of my video a lot. And this has many, many different clips, actually over 5 million different stock footage. You could get that from here. Then let's say you wanted some photos to add to your videos as well. Well, this has a massive library of stock photos. Again, millions and millions of different stock photos. They're royalty free, so you're getting a license to use them so you won't get into any type of copyright issues. And then typically I would want to choose music to lay down as a background music on some videos. I don't do it in every single video, but you could just listen to them here. Again, they have hundreds of thousands of different songs you could choose from by using these filters. And when you get more advanced, you may wanna add sound effects and even these video templates. So YouTube intros, animated outros, end screens, all kinds of different things could be added from here to your videos. And then you could also get graphic templates for places like Adobe Photoshop and Canva to create your YouTube banner and YouTube thumbnails. And this is why I like this platform. If you're a creator, this gives you everything, typically different platforms have just music in one place and stock footage in one place and photos in one place, thumbnails in one place. This has it all and you get access to everything with unlimited downloads. I've been using this for many, many years. So I'll put a link in the description too. Again, optional, but a great resource. Now, next on the list, we have DaVinci Resolve, another free app. This one available for Mac or for your PC. 
But this is the one that's actually used by very professional editors and even Hollywood studios use DaVinci Resolve. But what's really nice about DaVinci Resolve is it's actually not too hard to get started with it if you're completely new. But then it really gets you to the ultimate editing level if you want to go there. If you want to become a professional editor, you could stick with Resolve from the very beginning. But if you look at DaVinci Resolve, it looks very complicated compared to the other two that I've shown you so far. But once you learn it, it probably takes 30 minutes to an hour to kind of get the lay of the land here. But just like every editing software, you import your media. So I've imported a couple of different clips here. And then down here, you have a timeline. Well, all your editing takes place down here. So anytime you want to make a cut or if you want to trim something out entirely, you want to add music, it all takes place in the editing timeline. But if you look on the left side, they have a toolbox. So they have all kinds of different video transitions, audio transitions, all kinds of different titles. And then when you get to the more advanced levels of it, they have different tabs like the Fusion tab to let you do much more complex things like animation. They have a color tab to really take color grading and color correction, which are more advanced ways of really making your footage look a specific way. But for almost all the times that I've used DaVinci Resolve, I've only used the editing tab. I really don't even look in these other tabs that are more for professionals doing this for movies and things like that. And once you're done, you come to the Deliver tab and it lets you just go ahead and save this out for YouTube or any other social media platform you want to save this out to. So again, if this one looks way too complicated and you're not trying to become a professional editor or you're not trying to edit YouTube videos for 10 years, I don't know if this is the one I would get started with. But if you wanted something that you wanted to stick around with long term, this is a great one. And again, it's free. They do have a version of it that is paid. You pay one time for it. But we don't need that because for YouTube videos, we typically don't need those advanced options. And the three apps I've mentioned so far, by the way, they don't have any watermarks. They're totally free to use. Okay, this next one on the list, this is called Filmora. And this version that I'm showing you is called Filmora 13, but they release a new one just about every single year. And this one is really, really easy to use. Now, if you've noticed from every single one I've shown you, pretty much it's the same layout. You import your media, which is anything you've shot on your phone or on your camera. You put it over here, you preview it, and then you add it down here to what's called a timeline. This one also has a big media library. So all these different clips that I'm adding here are from that media library. And they have all kinds of different things for adding audio. They also have ton of effects and filters to make your footage look a specific way. They got animated stickers. And what's really nice about Filmora is they have ton of different AI options. All the different tools I've shown you have some AI options. CapCut has a lot of them. DaVinci has a lot of them. Filmora has a lot of them. And it makes it really easy to like caption your videos and things like that. This one you could pay monthly for or you could just buy it with a one-time purchase. But the free version, this is the only one where the free version of it is going to have a watermark from all the ones that I've covered so far. And number five on our list is called Adobe Premiere Pro. And this is the one I've personally used for over 15 years. This is my favorite editing application. I use it across thousands of YouTube videos and actually professional video editing projects too. But if you're brand new to editing, this might seem like the most complex. It's in par with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro are intended for more professional users. So I would recommend Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve to people that are trying to take editing to the next level. If you're trying to do YouTube yourself and edit all your videos for the next five, six years, you should learn one of those more professional tools so you could take your editing to the next level. Adobe Premiere Pro, by the way, doesn't have any free option. It's a subscription. You pay monthly for it. But what's really nice is Adobe is the same company that makes Photoshop. They have other applications like Adobe After Effects. And all of that seamlessly blends if you subscribe to all their apps for one monthly price. And it's really nice to help create your thumbnails with Photoshop, jump into Premiere to finish your videos. Maybe later when you get more advanced, jump into After Effects for more advanced animations too. But if you look at Premiere Pro, the layout is actually very similar to every app we've looked at. We have a place where you add your media. So I've added a video of myself, a video of a screen capture, and I've edited that on the timeline and the preview of what I'm editing, if I just kind of scrub through it, is showing up up here. So very straightforward to use, but they do have ton of different things. They got very advanced color correction. 
They do also transcribe your video using AI, and then you could add that as a caption automatically. They have a ton of different controls over what you do with your video. So that's how I've added this video as a picture within another video, right? It's a picture in picture effect. So a lot of different advanced options. They have a ton of different animations that you could add. But again, if this looks overwhelming to you, is because it's intended for more professional editors. But I do have a completely dedicated video on how to use Premiere Pro if you're one of the people trying to go to the next level. So which one should you use if you're starting out? If you are brand new and you have a Mac, start with iMovie. Very easy to use, watch the tutorial on it. You'll be good to go in 30 minutes. If you don't have a Mac and you're trying to actually take your editing to the next level, use CapCut, free to use. You could also use it on your phone, really great app available on the phone, which I also covered in a different tutorial as well. And for the people that are trying to take it to the next level and Filmora, for example, or CapCut is just not quite enough, then you wanna look at DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere Pro. And the choice between those is really up to you. They both are very powerful designed for professionals. So if you're a beginner, you could start with that. But remember, the learning curve is gonna be a lot higher on DaVinci Resolve and Premiere Pro, but that could take you to the next level. Even if you wanna become a professional editor, they probably will use either one of those two tools, even creating movies with them. Again, all the resources with download links and the tutorials are listed in the description. And if you're brand new to YouTube and trying to take YouTube to the next level, I did create a video showing you exactly how to get your first thousand subscribers on YouTube step by step. So I'll go ahead and link that here and I'll see you next time.